Don't yeah. we all? <laughs> hey, we're talking some Bulldog soccer today. Diego Zamoran is here. Diego, good morning. Good morning. Good, yeah, you got to get a little closer. Uh, good morning. There we go. <laughs> Oto Alvidris. Oto, good morning. Good morning. And uh, assistant coach John Kelly. Good morning, John. Good morning, Gene. You used to sit over here, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Oh, wow. How you been? Good, good. How about you? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Yeah. Um, how's been... Uh, I know your basketball coach yes, sir. help out with basketball, but how's uh, soccer been? It's been an adjustment for sure. Um, you know, I, I started last year, um, and a lot of these guys have really helped me along the way. Of course, you know, Coach Jowers and Delgado uh, have really taught me a lot. Um, and so I've learned a lot. It's been really good. Uh, but man, I love being around these guys and uh, being able to help them any way I can. So okay. it's, can, it's can you explain no. offsides to I me. I can. I can explain <laughs> offsides. So, whoever the last defender is, if you're behind him, between him and the goal, when uh, the ball's kicked, right. you're offsides. Okay. So, And that's a lot different than a fast break in basketball, isn't Much it? Much different, yes. You're trying to get on the other side of the defense, yeah. Yeah. So. And I guess in hockey, they have icing. Yes. But they have lines. Right. There's no lines on the no. soccer field, so. No. Kind of. If you're on... If they're on their half of the field before the ball is kicked, they're onside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if they run as soon as the ball is kicked, they're onside. Yeah, so it's so a little weird. It's yeah. complicated. That is that is the <laughs> the different part of it. Yeah, sure. and you can get a. I mean, you can have a really good play going and get ready to make a shot, and then all of a sudden, offsides, mm -hmm. and you're like, yeah. really? You know. <laughs> so it can. Uh, it can be kind of crazy and nerve-wracking when I have that. Are there other? Were there any other aspects of the game that you you're probably familiar with soccer? You may have even played when you were. Well, I, yeah, I never played, so that was that was something like I'm sure some of these guys were like, "Why is this guy where he never played soccer?" Uh, and it's evident you can tell. Uh, but uh, the some of the goalie rules mm -hmm. were, were different for sure for me. Um, but you know they've caught me up on it all by now. So yeah, uh, but yeah, just I guess a few of those little things with the goalie. You know, if your own player passes it back to you, you can't pick it up. Um, things like that. So yeah, unless it's a header with the chest, right? A header with the chest, yeah. or a header chest. or a chest. <laughs> <laughs> or off the chest. Yeah. Like, yeah, Diego's <laughs> like, so how does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> it 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 bounced, you know, <laughs> bounced up. Uh, no, well that's well that's great, and uh, I see you out there with the JV, uh, kind of helping out the JV. How did the yeah. JV do this yeah, year? They they did really well. They they improved a lot from the beginning of the year to to last night. Um, you know, last night we were in Portales, and uh, this guy Otto, he got to play some goalie for yes. us, uh, part of the second half, and then uh, you know just the way we ended the game last night was was pretty great. Zane Bays was also playing goalie after he got scored on. Otto. He did get scored on. <laughs> um, <laughs> he made up for it because he saved a PK. Yeah. Should have should have put me in. But it was looking straight to him, so <laughs> Yeah. He he saved a PK and that's I mean that's a big deal as a goalie. So it was but all right. as Diego said the ball was kinda kicked right to him but <laughs> he still saved it. So gotta give him credit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah he he had a goal kick and kicked it up to, to Noah Sanchez and uh, he kinda collected the ball and passed it into Skyler and put a, a good shot on goal and right. went it went in and that put us up three to one uh, it was right before the the, the final whistle and uh, man just seeing how they connected all those passes and worked together you know right at the end of the season was was really good and uh, we were all really proud of them you know the varsity guys came running on the field and <laughs> it was it was a fun it was a fun game last night for sure where do they uh, where do they play their games in Portales? Uh, they played at the high school. At the high so school, so where okay. those uh, football practice fields are, it's right right there in that same area. Okay. So right next to the baseball field, I guess too. And they have lights up there in that field. Or no, no so lights. So you're probably in the. Did they do yeah. the varsity first mm -hmm. and then the JV? Yes, so you guys yeah. were kind of in the dark, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. So varsity played first, and then yeah, at, at the end of the JV game, it was getting kind of dark. They did end up turning on the baseball field lights and the football practice field lights but uh it was still it was still kind of you know kind of oh. dark so they need to do what they do out here at jc park and have about a dozen light yeah. towers you know just yeah. around there and i was thinking the same thing last night i was like but you know i'm kind of curious why they didn't have 
lights there or at least some towers, yeah. Yeah, so the, but it is what it is. How did the varsity yeah. do last night? One five two. Five two. Okay. Four so two. I thought it was four. Yeah. Four. Yeah, it was four. Oh. But that's okay. <laughs> that's proof you're just going through the motion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> At least uh, you had more than they did, so Artesia wins the game. So yeah. should have been one four. Yeah. Now the best Lucky part was when Jowers got a yellow card. <laughs> that was the best. Really, part. Yeah. coach got a yellow card. We got it on film and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zoomed in. And all that and gave the ref a yearful. <laughs> wow. Well, don't don't be too hard on him. We were doing the. He was helping us with the girls' game the other night, and um, his daughter got a goal, and he was looking around for a hamburger, so he didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you know, isn't that embarrassing? And then he said on the broadcast that he didn't see it. It's like, why would you say that out loud? <laughs> Why would you admit it? Exactly. Yeah. Was it exactly. against Goddard or no? No, it was against, uh, I think it was, was it Lovington they played the other Probably. night? That makeup game? That was Lovington where it was overtime? One was it one in Lovington? Yeah, Wh whatever yeah. whatever it was. But uh, I, I kind of chuckled at that one. I said, why would you, why would you admit that? You know, now you're going to have to explain to her why you, you know, sitting in there doing the broadcast, headsets on, talking about the game, and you didn't see her hit the goal. He was hungry. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. And you got to eat, you know. Yeah. Well, that's great. So with the win now, um, what, it, what does that mean? That the boys' season is done. So you're waiting on selection for Sunday? State. Yes. Okay, for the state tournament. There's no district tournament or anything like that. No, no we just yeah. finished the district. Yeah, finished yesterday, so. But there's not a district tournament, so district's done. No, yeah. District's, district's not. It's not like basketball. Okay. Or or volley does volleyball have a district tournament? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's... <coughs> Just di kind of like football district straight to the playoffs. State. So. Okay. Well, good. Well, I hope you guys, you should get in, right? Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. We're just lucky on if we're traveling or not. Right. We're hoping we don't. But, yeah. So how many teams do they take? Do they take 12 or 16? Do you 16. know? They take 16 and the top four seeds get a first round bye. Okay. So right now we're, we're thinking we're probably going to be about seven or eight. We might slip to nine uh, depending on... I think Nimi and Hatch play on Saturday, and we really want Nimi to win that game because we beat Nimi, so that'd give us another criteria point. Um, uh, and then Sanity last night, uh, they won. They beat. They beat. Lovington? No. No. There is somebody in their district. Uh, Deming, I think. They okay. Beat Deming, and so Sanity right now on max preps is sitting at nine, and we're at eight, and so we know that we're really close with them on criteria, um, and so if we can get another point on saturday it'll really help us uh on sunday hopefully to have uh, but you got to have a little help game. from uh from Nimi. possibly Nimi. Yeah. yeah yeah okay so well good luck with that and uh yeah. either if it's eight or up you'll get a home home playoff game if it's mm -hmm. uh, nine then you'll have to you'll have to travel yeah, somewhere yeah. so yeah okay who are some of the top teams in uh in in that our class is 4A, right? Who are yes. some of our top soccer teams out uh, there? It was year? Goddard, Lovington, Hope Christian, mm -hmm. St. Pius is up there. St. Pius, Los Alamos. Los Alamos, yeah. yeah. I think Lovington beat Goddard, yes. if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah. I, think, so. I think Lovington won the district championship because they went 6 0. 6 0, okay. So they'll all be sitting around Sunday afternoon waiting to see where uh, where they wind up. So that'll, yeah. be, that'll be kind of fun. Yeah, I understand you guys are going over to Coach's house for Selection Sunday. Is that the plan? Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun last year. I, I don't know if he enjoyed it, but we had a good time. Well, good. Well, it's all about the team spirit, right? Yeah. yeah there team you bonding. Go. Yeah. But and then, and then you can pull up the highlight clip of his daughter getting the goal and him saying that he didn't see it. You could play that. <laughs> Post a TikTok. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> So well, let's uh, let's meet our players a little bit more. Diego, uh, uh, why don't you you get a family, parents, brothers, well, sisters? My parents are Irene and Juan Zamron. My brother is Japheth Zamron. He also plays soccer. Mm -hmm. um, he plays third string Cooper or right bench, as he likes to say. Right bench. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> no, then me, I play uh, left back. Okay. And, and do you play any other sports or just soccer? Uh, basketball. I'm thinking on doing track this year, but I'm not sure yet. So okay. I'm still. If you did uh, 
try out or make the track team, what do you think you'd be good at? I would try and do relay. Okay. That's what I would go for. All right. First, the end of the team? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Second leg. Second, I guess, <laughs> then. He said, I don't, he did track last year. I, I have no idea what they do. <laughs> they run a lot. First leg has to get far enough to where it puts everyone else in a good position. Second leg just has to maintain it. Third leg maintains it but tries to get up a little bit. And then last leg is just the people who go. Finish. Well, everyone should go all out, but yeah. last leg is probably the fastest one. Sure, because they're, they're making up for anything or yeah. or if they've got a lead or close to a lead trying to. Yeah, trying to. Yeah. I take it, Oto, you've been on the track team. Yes. You're going to be on track this year? Yes. Just uh, last year I was on long distance, and I want to go to short distance because I'm better at sprinting than I am at long distance. Okay. Anybody good at hurdles or high jumps or anything like that? I did triple jump, but the practices for long distance would just be so hard that after them I'd just be drained and I couldn't go to triple jump. Yeah. <laughs> this is hard. It's, it's a lot of, lot of. You know, how do you how do you practice for that? What's the for what's long the, distance? Yeah. Okay, so there's Coach Rivera calls them recovery days, and we run anywhere from three to six miles, and then there's workout days. It varies on what he wants to do that day. It could be like eight two hundreds, uh, five or six. It's a six hundred all out, and then thirty second break with the two hundred. Or you just run out a flat 800, and that's about it. And then we just keep doing that over and over again. Or it could be a breakdown from an 800 to a 100, and then from a 100 to 800. Wow, that's a lot of running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not doing that. I bet you're. I bet you're in pretty good shape then. I was. You was. <laughs> you were. <laughs> that's funny. Well, that's, so do you think? Um, and uh, Oto, before we get. Two further, run, introduce your family. Okay, so my parents are Mireya Alvidres and Otoniel Alvidres. And I have two younger siblings. My brother is in third grade. My sister is in eighth grade. And they both play soccer. I am doing soccer and track this year. No basketball. And that's about it. You're a hooper, okay. No. You're a hooper. I've seen you get some buckets. No. <laughs> no, no wrestling here in this bunch. No. Right? no out, out of between. Do you think uh, track helps oh, your wow. soccer conditioning, or does your soccer conditioning play help your, help your track? I'd say soccer conditioning helps with track. Okay. Because in soccer, it's constant running, no, no stop, and then in track, it's just, well, it's not just one, like, lap. But you have to sprint full out, and then you're done. But in soccer, I kind of do that when they do long balls. Mm -hmm. And I have to run with the offense to try to defend that because I play center back. Yeah. And I try to defend it like that and then send it back up, and it just keeps happening over and over again. That's what yeah. most teams try to do. That's right. A lot of, lot of running to – you got to be in shape to do that. To, yeah. Uh, good. Well, who uh, – who inspired you to get into sports or athletics or soccer? Or I've been playing soccer for almost 13 years now. Mm -hmm. So I've always had a passion for soccer. And then I've tried basketball and I was decent, not the best. And then for track, I was pretty good because it's just running and we do a lot of that in soccer. And I've been one of the fastest on every single team that I've played for. So I feel like trying sh sprints this year would would help out with that. Okay. Uh, how about you, Diego? Who uh, who told you you had to get into athletics? Who or who inspires you um, in, in athletics? For soccer, I would honestly say my Theo because when uh, growing up, I would always play with uh, my brother and my cousin. Mm -hmm. So I think we played just about every year for city league. So. I guess soccer was always a, in in the picture ever since then. I stopped around like sixth grade though. I played one year with Travel. I think you were on that team, right? Yeah. Yeah, I played with him one year, but then I didn't play the next year, and I just got back into it last year. So. Okay, that's good. Well, uh, what grade are you guys in? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. I'm a junior. Junior. Have you given any thought at all of what you like to do after you graduate? I know it's a long ways away, but. 
I, I'm planning on doing military because I don't okay. like I don't like school. So. <laughs> <laughs> now wait a minute, they have school in the military. Yeah, but I'd rather get like have more life benefits when I get out and stuff. Oh, like that. absolutely. So, which uh, which branch are you thinking? Um, either the military, the, or no, the Marines or the Navy is what I'm torn on between. Two. Can you swim? Pretty good. Because, <laughs> like, good. the Navy's, like, I in still, water, I still you do know? doggy paddle. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Oto? It's a long ways away, but have you thought about... If I get a scholarship for soccer, I'll take it. But if not, then I'll go work at our store. At your store? Yes. Which is? Semi-truck parts. Okay. And mechanic. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. And then you could fix his truck. Or maybe you could fix coaches. It's semi trucks. Semi, well, that's okay. <laughs> I could give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could take that anyway. No, I'm just take the body from his truck and put it on a on a semi. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I could do that. You know, I have to kind of lift it up a little bit, but that'd be that'd be pretty unique. <laughs> yeah, you just see the transmission down there. <laughs> I'd have to cut the front end off so you could see the engine. Yeah, well, of course. I think it's fine. I think it'd be That'd awesome. And then when he starts that thing up in the morning, you know, wake the whole neighborhood. <laughs> I'll put silencers on it. I'll be nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll have a have a switch where you can, or something where you can turn them off. And no, just straight pipe it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, good deal. Is there anything else you guys want to say, or anybody you want to say hi to this morning? No. Then you, you want Kelly? to. You <laughs> did. Yeah. My my kids are listening, so. Uh, the four most amazing kids in the world. Kobe, Karen, Tucker, and Kinley. Um, you guys have a great day today. Love y'all. Awesome. Such a sweetheart. <laughs> so you guys have any, you know, no. significant say, others? or say, Shout out to my mom and dad. Okay. Been there since day one. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually so. true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Oto Oto has one too. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my girlfriend. Simp. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> You'll be there one day. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we will. <laughs> next year. Next year. Ne <laughs> yeah, next year when you come on the radio. You yeah, can shout out to your girlfriend. Then. <laughs> so. that's, that's if I get one between then. Yeah. Between now and then. You sure? I see you. You'll be spitting in the halls. No, I don't speak game. <laughs> okay, I think we're getting a little a little deep here. So. All right, well, good luck on Sunday. Hopefully uh, you guys get a top eight and get a home game, and we'll be there to cover it, and we'll put a mic on Coach. What do you think? Sounds good. Yeah. During the game? Yeah. Do, I need a, do I need a delay of any kind? or No. Um, no, good. No, yeah. good, good. I, I think I, we've been trying to ask him if he can uh, mic us up on the field. Oh, <laughs> That's like a fun. joke, but I don't know if he's like, taking that into consideration or anything because when we tell him that he doesn't say anything so <laughs> do you which want probably means no <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it'd be it'd be fun to do the to hear what we say and stuff you wouldn't like a mic on me well i don't think we'll do that live <laughs> because yeah. all you'd hear is yelling yeah we'll we'll do the we'll do the best of or the season recap and then we'll pull yeah. selected highlights <laughs> from it so That'd go. probably be better than, than <laughs> yeah, going out yeah. over the internet live. All right, Otel Vidris, thank you so much. Good luck to you. And Diego Zamoran, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And Coach Kelly, thank you for coming in. Thank you, Gene. All right.